Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be joining you here today in Najaf, a city renowned for its spirit of tolerance and acceptance. I'm particularly pleased that so many of you have accepted our invitation to discuss challenges and prospects for Iraq's national reconciliation. Your participation today is a vivid illustration of your commitment to this process which I have no doubt will make a significant contribution to its success. تنتج أن نتفاهم على جميع الملفات الخلافية ونحتكم لقدرنا كعراقيين باختلاف مع احترام كل ميولاتنا واتجاهاتنا وهوياتنا الفرحية الثانية والأخرى فإذا التسوية ضرورة والمصالحة ضرورة نعتقد أن الخيار الأسلم والأفضل تعلق سريعا على عدد من القضايا وأوضح فيها دور الأمم المتحدة أيضا اولا بالنسبه لمشروع المصالحه او التسويه ايا كانت التسميه لسنا مختلفين لكن متفقين جميعا ان هناك مشكله في العراق يجب معالجتها في وضع عراق يجب ان يتم ان يسير بالاتجاه الصحيح في كافه المجالات I thought it was really interesting this morning to see so many people from different backgrounds. It's quite clear to me that uh, the political future of this country needs to be decided by everybody in Iraq. So the work that we're doing to uh, get out and meet people right across the country in all the different uh, provinces and to hear from different groups, not just political parties but also uh, young people, uh, civil society, women, um, academics, journalists. Uh, I thought it was really interesting today to hear their views. I was struck by how strongly people feel about their country, about its future. Um, I was struck by the fact that many people were saying the same thing. I think uh, whatever people's backgrounds, they want the same things for this country. So it was interesting for me to hear that. It was my first experience of that. I think there was two parts. One is to go out and gather information about what people want um, and of course the National uh, Reconciliation uh, Commission are doing that. And then there's a piece around working out what that means, finding a, um, finding a system that works for everybody, um, understanding what people are asking for and responding to that. So there will be an increasing role for the government and the authorities in this. Um, but it's, a, it's a, a process that is developing, I think, very well. We have a mandate to advise and support, and that's what we're doing. We don't have any kind of executive mandate, but we're very much in that advisory role. Um, we bring a lot of international expertise, a lot of experience in elections from the, from the past. Um, so there's an advisory role for us to play, a facilitation role.